Welcome everyone, it took a while for me to start the video because I had to put on my hazmat suit. What I'm doing today is I'm gonna dig, I'm going to go all the way down to the eighth layer of hell and deep dive in the WoW general discussion forums. You know, that hellish place sometimes you see mentioned almost jokingly when someone mentions some terrible opinions, awful takes, or just general trolling about, about the state of this game, the state of the features and the systems in this game, etc, etc. But you yourself, knowing much better, actually never bothered to go down there. That is, a, that is a wise, that is a wise decision. So for today, me not being wise, I have decided to go in there myself and pull up some of the more interesting takes and, and interesting uh, threads being open at the moment down there. Now sometimes that's true, sometimes it's not it's not very entertaining because it's quite it's quite on the nose when you see a troll player at level 19 with six posts making a thread about why is raiding easy now when it was so hard in vanilla. That's just way too much of an easy bait. Come on, you would have to be you would have to be a rookie to fall for such an easy bait. Other times though, other times you can find camaraderie with your fellow players in the forums. For example, you might find some degenerate asking a superfluous question. Why would we want to stop killing those rats, right? That's where you can find you can find solace in knowing that many other players like you detest this race. You can though sometimes even find something a little bit more soulful. You can find something a little bit more spiritual, right? For example, where are all of the churches in this game? It is predicated and believed by many races, including most of the Alliance races, yet we don't see many churches, right? This is an important problem that needs fixing. Where are all of our chapels, our cathedrals, and our churches and abbeys where we can go and pray with our characters? That is a hard-hitting question for the WoW developers. Now, something that you might not know about the WoW forums is that there are a few contracts, there are a few stipulations that need to be upheld in the general discussion. Number one, there must always be a thread about how evil Raider IO is in the top 20 or so of discussions. At least one every day must always be at the top. That is the default state of the forums. So of course, for today, we have this one. The idea, the idea that the player's behavior behind uh, judging players and their Mythic Plus rating is something bad, is something wrong. Why, if I have 2300 rating and my highest key is a plus 13, am I not getting invited to a plus 17? This rating system promotes discrimination and toxicity. That is the general idea that you would find when looking at these type of threads on the general forums. Sometimes though, as you have started to lose hope and continued to lose IQ from reading all of these threads, you might start finding a ray of light, a ray of hope in those discussions, like for example, removing Mythic Plus affixes. You know, this one is a more, a more understandable discussion. There might be some reason to be found in here, even maybe some truths to be found in here about the state of Mythic Plus affixes, right? It's not that bad of a discussion. Sometimes you might even find something surprising that you didn't even expect to be there. For example, how to how to behave, how to how to move around the idea of having backup raiders in your in your guild. That is something that might be interesting to, to many players, as I assume many players who raided might have found themselves at some point at playing the role of the 21st or 22nd or 23rd raider in a roster. So maybe by checking out this thread you might find some, some interesting takes, some interesting past experiences of other players, right? It's a, it's a cool, possibly even insightful type of thread. However, However, these type of threads are far and few in between, because despite a few of the stipulated mandatory threads required, like for example complaining about the rating system, as well as posting about 70 different races to be turned into allied races, the other thing that makes up most of the general discussion is what it has, you know, gotten to be known for, which is the negativity, the pessimistic, right, the, the Debbie Downer type of threads about 
generally speaking, WoW is dying. If it's not dead, then it's dying. Basically, WoW is being seen as Schrodinger's game. It is simultaneously alive because I can log in the game and then log in the general forums and it's dead because then I can post in the forums how the game is dead and dying. You are being told like Proctitus is saying that he realizes that he can't really keep up playing the game for 14 hours a day. Therefore, there is no there is no reason to continue playing. Because as we know, Dragonflight has gone very hard on the mandatory grinds and the mandatory borrowed power grinds, right? There is tons there, there is tons to farm nowadays, so that is definitely a good reason to be quitting the game. One of the evergreen, one of the evergreen type of complaints in this game is the fact that there is nothing to do if you exclude battlegrounds, arenas, mythic plus and raiding. So basically, if you exclude all of the end game group content, then there isn't really anything to do. This generally speaking ends up devolving into a mud fight where players point out then why are you even playing an MMO game based on group content if you just don't want to do group content? The other side is gonna say what about if I want to play solo in this MMO? And that's when everything goes down the drain and just turns into some random shit flinging. However, however, if we are talking about the game dying, seeing the game negatively, seeing the game through pessimistic lenses, then of course one of the one of the mandatory threads, at least a couple of them every day, must be around Final Fantasy. That's right. As you know, as you know, WoW has been killed by Final Fantasy for at least two to three years by now, and we are of course constantly reminded of it every day. I don't know if you were aware of this, but Final Fantasy does almost everything better at this point, and they are pushing out even more patches than WoW, so what is even the point in continuing to play? Now this question is particularly poignant when it comes from a level 12 Blood Elf Priest with 17 posts on the forums. Why exactly are you even here posting would be an interesting question. These type of characters are generally speaking the ones that will make these type of threads. Here is a level 63 Night Elf Hunter on Classic with 80 posts telling us that Final Fantasy once again caught up to Dragonflight and Dragonflight now is dead in the water. This one is even hitting all of the check marks for a perfect bait thread, he's even mentioning the, the bold react man for maximum bait, and he's even telling us, you know, he's bringing us hard facts, he's bringing us proof, trust me, in Final Fantasy the raiding scene is stronger than ever, multiple groups get made every time, there is no loading timer like in certain WoW game modes like <laughs> Mythic Plus. <laughs> So you know it's better than what we think it should be, you know? What more proof do you need that Final Fantasy has done things better than WoW than his own take? So as I've been covering many of these staggering takes, my sanity is already starting to slip a little bit, so I thought we were going to finish with a more sensible opinion. Here is our friendly Akamong telling us that we do indeed need account-wide rep. That's all. That is the point for today. A, more, a much more sensible thread to finish the day looking at the WoW general forums. In short, in short, you shouldn't really under any circumstance go down here unless you want to hurt yourself, you won't really find anything helpful or insightful about this game. You might find a couple of the threads as I pointed out, but they are hidden down so much, so many layers of turds that it's really not worthwhile to actually even bother to dive all the way down here. So don't do it, let other people, more unfortunate souls like myself, do it for you and stay away from this place. So for today, this infomercial, this PSA on the dangers of going down here is done. We are leaving each other. I'm going to thank, of course, as usual, all of my Patreon supporters for the contribution and the help to the growth of this channel. Other ways to support the channel for free would be liking and commenting down below as well as subscribing to the channel itself together with following me over on Twitter at this link as well as over on my stream at Twitch. Now, with this out of the way, I now need to take a break and not see this godforsaken place for quite a bit. So, we are leaving each other. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon. And in the meantime, ha, debate on wanting to answer all of these brainlets, but realizing and remembering where you are and any type of discussion would be futile. Ha, it's so hard. <laughs>